The 1972 movie Jeremiah Johnson, starring Robert Redford, is considered historical fiction, probably more fiction than history. However, it is based on a real-life mountain man named John Johnston. Mr. Johnston is commonly referred to as John Liver-Eating Johnston, and this video will delve into his life and the facts behind the liver-eating nickname he acquired in his lifetime. Were it not for the Jeremiah Johnson movie and its popularity, John Johnston would probably not be ranked up there with the more renowned mountain men such as Jim Bridger, Kit Carson, John Coulter, Tom Fitzpatrick, Hugh Glass, Jedediah Smith, Joe Meek, and others. However, Hollywood has a tendency to elevate real-life people to greater heights than would be otherwise possible. John Liver Eating Johnston was born in New Jersey in 1824 with the last name Garrison. During the Mexican-American War, he served on a ship having enlisted under a false age. After striking an officer, he deserted and changed his name to John Johnston. He decided to head west in search of gold. In 1843, he stopped at a trading post near what is now Gearing, Nebraska, and purchased a horse and 30 caliber Hawken rifle. The owner of the trading post, Joe Robideau, threw in a tomahawk in the deal. Johnston headed out to begin his trapping career in 1843 on the Big Blue River, which runs through Nebraska and Kansas. There he met old John Hatcher, an experienced mountain man, who informed Johnston that the Big Blue had been trapped out for years. Hatcher befriended Johnston, and they teamed up and headed to Hatcher's cabin on the Little Snake River in northwest Colorado. From 1843 through 1845, Hatcher and Johnston trapped in Colorado, Utah, and Wyoming. During those years, he met other mountain men to include Bill Williams, Bearclaw Chris Lapp, and Dale Goo. In a memorable scene in the movie, Jeremiah Johnson meets Bearclaw Chris Lapp, and Johnson learns about Lapp and, more importantly, grizzly bears. In 1844, while Johnston and Hatcher were trapping, Hatcher wounded a bear with his rifle, and Johnston killed it with his knife. The knife kill was more out of necessity than heroism. Johnston had fired his weapon at the grizzly and used a knife to keep from getting mauled. In 1847, on a trip to the Muscle Shell River in Montana, Johnston encountered a woman, Jane Morgan, whose husband and three children were killed by Indians. During the massacre, she supposedly killed four Indians with an axe. She lost her mind, and the mountains in the area became known as the Crazies. In the spring of 1847, Johnston took a flathead Indian woman as his wife. Her name was the Swan. By that time, Hatcher had got out of the mountain man business, and he took his new wife to live in Hatcher's cabin. He left the Swan in the cabin in the winter of 1847 and 1848, while he left for the Unital Mountains to trap. He returned to the cabin in the spring of 1848 to find his pregnant wife dead, killed by Crow Indians. Johnston began a 20-year vendetta against the Crows to avenge his wife's murder. It was reported that he killed up to 300 Crow Indians during the 20-year stretch and earned his nickname Liver Eater as a result of the killings. Some people of that era claimed that he would cut out the crow livers and eat them after each kill, but that theory has been pretty much debunked over time. In the latter years of his life, Johnson denied that he ever ate Indian livers, and most historians ascribe to this denial as being accurate. At the end of the 20-year vendetta in 1866, Johnston made peace with the Crow tribe and, in fact, after that, referred to them as brothers. Over his lifetime, Johnston held many jobs other than trapping. At one time or another, he was a sailor, soldier, gold seeker, hunter, 
trapper, whiskey peddler, guide, deputy, constable, and log cabin builder. A month prior to his death on January 21st, 1900, he moved into a veteran's home in Santa Monica, California, penniless and without any known relatives. His body was buried in a Los Angeles Veterans Cemetery. In 1972, a middle school teacher in Lancaster, California, named Tri Robinson, became fascinated by the Johnson story and through research learned that he had wanted to be interred in his old stomping grounds in the Northern Rockies. He got his class involved and together they obtained permission from the federal government to have the body dug up and reburied in Cody, Wyoming. As with many of the old mountain men of the 1800s, it is difficult to piece together enough definitive information to do complete and totally accurate biographies. At best, the lives of these wondrous sojourners of the mountainous west would by necessity be classified as historical fiction. So it is with John Liver Eater Johnston. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, make a comment, or most importantly, subscribe to the channel. A subscribe would be very important for me. As always, thanks for watching.